Hello guys, um, welcome back to the third lecture of EndNote series. Yesterday we learned about um, making citations and editing citation styles etc. In this lecture we are going to learn about how to insert references in EndNote and move them around, edit them, change their formatting etc and also some other options in the EndNote. So first of all, we start with a document. Here we have different references inserted in the document. So we'll learn how to insert some citation into a Word document. There are two different methods for that. So the first one is, for example, um, we want to insert um, the following paper, which you can see here, brown, year 2012 so we can search it up in Microsoft Word for example we want to insert it with reference 1 here where one reference is already inserted so we put the cursor there and then go to end note here and then insert citation so when we click insert citation we write 2012 and find so we can find this paper and you can see the details below here if you are confirmed that this is the paper you want then select it and click insert now you can see that um, the reference is inserted here sorry about that it is complaining that the style I chose is not in the list so I'll just choose a different style which is available currently alright so you can see that it inserted the reference as reference number two and it moved this reference which was originally number two to number three so that's how it also rearranges the order of the references like you don't have to worry about the hassle that if you insert some reference here in the middle you don't need to change the next references endnote will take care of that so that's the beauty of endnote all right so now we'll um, use a different method to insert a reference that is directly from endnote for example we want to insert the reference over here we'll keep the cursor here and go to endnote so here for example do you want to use this reference in that place so what we do is we select this reference and here is the button insert citation in EndNote so you click on that button it will take you to Microsoft Word and you can see that it has inserted a citation there and rearrange the other references accordingly and you can see below that the reference is also inserted according to the style we have selected so this is how we insert references in Microsoft Word just a quick thing here while um, I saw that the references are not arranged properly so for example in EndNote we want to see them uh, according to the year list we can just click on the year and it will sort it alf um, in ascending order if we want to s sort it in descending order we click on year again and now you can see that they are from newest to the oldest so that's how you can also rank by author names alphabetically um, in reverse and then I like it usually in year order so it's easy to find if you want to find some reference or just want to go you can also find a reference from here just in quick search you type something like 2012 and it will highlight the references in 2012 so coming back to the topic now there are some other things for I'll just insert a mo one more reference over here just to show you something else so now we have three references in one at one place so it has grouped the references as one dash three and then number four and number five so what happens if we want to just move this line at the end for example we plan later on or the um, supervisor or someone checks the assignment and says oh I don't like this sentence over here just move it to the end so what will we do is select the text with the reference and right click cut 
and here we want to move it to the end probably in the new paragraph and we'll paste it here control V and now you can see that EndNote has changed the number of the reference and also the order here so that's the beauty however you want to play around with the document rearrange you don't need to worry about the references because EndNote is there to take care of them so we learned about how to move or copy references you can simply copy a reference from here for example this reference also occurs um, somewhere else in the document so you just copy it select it control C and if we want to put it here as well I'll just do control V and now this reference is also linked to the um, original bibliographic here alright so the next thing is for example here there are three references and uh, you want to remove reference number two from here how will you do that we can't see reference number two here so there is a method for that for example if you want to remove reference number four from here you simply press backspace and that is removed but what will we do here if we want to remove reference number two so for that you just put the cursor in the reference in the citation and then go to edit and manage citations button over here you click on that and here we can see these are the three references um, this is number one number two and number three they are in proper order so we can also see the details of the reference we want to remove for example this one by clicking on the reference button then we can see oh yes this is the reference we want to remove so we don't remove something else by accident so now for removing this reference we'll highlight this reference and you can see in front of it edit reference you click on that button and you can see remove citation just click on remove citation okay now we'll see that the reference number two is removed and reference number three is automatically numbered to reference number two now so the document is still pretty good and you have done well with managing the citations in the document so there is another thing as you have noticed that as soon as I copy some reference or insert some citation it automatically um, arranges it and links to the references in the text like the window you just saw so if you, if you have a bigger document and there are hundreds of references this makes the work slower if you update the library and format the references at every instance you put the reference in so just to stop that and because we can just keep putting the references in and at the end when we are done we can just update the library once instead of doing it several times because for larger libraries or bigger documents like full thesis this um, just slows down your uh, progress and the process of formatting so there is an option in word instant formatting so you can see that instant formatting is on what we can do is we can just turn off the instant formatting so now EndNote will not instantly format the references for example I'll remove this one and I'll add another reference here and you will see that EndNote will not instantly format the reference and you can see it's just a um, crude uh, entry from EndNote and now when we want at the end when we finished we can just click on update citations in bibliography and then it will format the document according to the links inserted by EndNote so you can turn instant formatting on from here again so that was about instant formatting now there are a couple of other options which we want to learn in EndNote so we'll go back to EndNote there is another beautiful option for example we have a paper and you want to search for its full text and if you have access to the journals for example you're in the university so you can what you can do is select the reference and there is an option here find full text so if you click on that you can see that EndNote is searching for the full text here and it should come up with the full text very soon 
yes it says found PDF so now if you click on that you can see that here is the reference and it has attached a PDF to the reference if you click on this PDF you can see that we have the full text available for this reference now so that's how you can also attach the PDFs to the EndNote references so you can access them directly from here and you don't need to go and search so if you want to open the PDF you can just click here and you can open it separately in full screen all right so just close the EndNote after that there is one other option if you want to delete a reference simply select it and press delete button or right click and move reference to trash that will delete the reference and you can see that it is in the trash now and there is another beautiful options if you accidentally download a reference twice you can go to references find duplicates it says no duplicate references found if there are duplicates it will show you that these two are duplicates and which one do you want to keep so you can keep one and discard the other so that's how uh, we can also remove the duplicates from EndNote library. So that was all about today's lecture. I'll see you guys in the next lecture with some more tips in uh, regarding EndNote. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe to keep you updated about the latest videos about EndNote and other softwares. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.